かにも辛そうな真っ赤な色はなんだか目に染みてきたってばよおお美味しそうですねえー、マジ Hey guys, today we'll make the curry of life from Naruto. This has to be the most spicy curry I've made in my life. If you gave it to someone dead, they would for sure come back to life. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's make it. The first thing we're gonna do is we'll cut up some beef into some nice thick cuts, like this. And then. Peel a carrot and give it a rangiri cut, meaning disordered cut. We'll cut it into random sizes so each piece is unique in its own way. We'll also do the same for some potatoes. And then we'll cut some white onions into some half moons. And that will be it for the vegetable prep. To add some spice, we'll need some dried chilies. I started by cutting off the stems. And then I put the chilies into a bowl. We'll add some hot water and let them sit for a while. Once the chilies are rehydrated, put them in a blender along with some Szechuan chili flakes and a lot of fresh chilies as well. Mix it up. To make the spicy base for our curry. And now, to make the curry, we'll start by searing our meat. Make sure it caramelizes and it becomes beautifully golden brown, like this. Add the onions and cook them in the fond, as that is all pure flavor. Once the onions are translucent, we'll add the potatoes and carrots and then we'll cook them up. Add some tomato paste so that the curry gets a bright red color later. Let it cook for a minute and then deglaze it with beef stock. And then add back the cooked meat into the curry. Add the spicy chili base we made to the curry as well. And then we'll add some Japanese curry cubes just for convenience. To give it a more bright red color like in the anime, I added a bit of red food coloring. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Add some white rice to a plate and scoop the curry on top. And that's it, the spicy curry of life from Naruto is done. And now for the taste. I have to say, this tasted unimaginably spicy. To the point that it didn't even taste good. I'm sure it would work well to wake up an unconscious person, but to eat it for my pleasure, I'm gonna skip on that. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and as always, have a nice day.